this video we will look at the history tab and the five panels which are present on the history tab when you first install Ed Discovery. The panels installed by Ed Discovery by default are the history panel on the top left, the system information panel on the top right, the nearest stars list on the right mid, the log which gives information about what Ed Discovery is doing in the bottom right and finally the scan panel which shows you information about the system you're in. Let's start with the history panel. The history panel shows you a list of journal entries normally in time order with the latest entry at the top that Ed Discovery is read from your Frontier journal files. Each journal entry consists of a date and timestamp, an icon representing the journal entry, the description of the journal entry and an information field giving more detailed information about the entry. For some journal entries the information doesn't fit on one line in which case you can double click on the entry to see more information. If the information is particularly large it will pop out into its own window. Double click again to return to a single line. You can use the vertical scroll bar to go up and down the history or you can use the page up and page down key. The relative sizes of each column can be adjusted by hovering over the header and dragging left or right. The program will remember the relative sizes next time you start it. You can sort on each column by double clicking on the column header. The toolbar at the top of the history panel allows you to configure what's shown. The time entry allows you to set the depth of history. Here we have it on two weeks, which means it will show the last two weeks of entries. You can select from all to a quarter, half year, year, or select a 100 or 500 entries, or maybe just from the last dock. If you shorten the amount of time you display it makes it easier to scroll through a long and detailed journal entry history. Here we will change it to one month. The next box allows you to search for a particular piece of text in any of the columns. For instance we can look for an entry for Super Cruise and it will sort to show you all the Super Cruise entries within the time period selected. Blank in the search returns it to the normal view. The next button allows you to filter on the type of journal entries. By clicking on it, it will present a list of all the different types of journal entries present in Elite Dangerous. You can select all or travel, scan, missions, materials, etc., groups, or you can select individual entries. Once you have selected the entries you wish to display, just click on somewhere else on the Elite Dangerous Discovery screen to close the dialog. The next entry allows you to set up complicated filters to filter out journal entries with defined fields. Here you can see we've set a filter up so that the approach body journal entry, when the body contains Elmer, the journal entry will be filtered out you can select any one of the journal entries to filter on. You can select inside each journal entry various fields that the journal entry has and you can control the condition and the actual data compared. Using the plus key you can set up extra conditions and you can set groups of conditions up. Once you've set all the conditions up Click OK to apply or cancel to discard. The next button on the toolbar allows you to export data to a, an Excel spreadsheet. The data is normally based on what you're currently viewing so if you've got any filters or search patterns and you've set the time that will be the data that will be exported. Click on the export button and it will give you an export dialog. This allows you to select the data. View is the the stuff in the current history panel or you can filter out to 
display only FSD jumps, ones with notes, or ones with notes but no repeats. You can also select the date and time filter that the journal entries are outputted from. The entries at the bottom allows you to include the header, to auto open and to decide whether it's a comma separated file or a semicolon separated file. Click on export to export a CVS file. It will ask you where to place it, select a location, give it a name and save. The next button on the toolbar automatically moves the cursor to the latest entry when it arrives. This is a very important button and you should normally have it set so that it does jump the cursor to the latest entry when a new one arrives. And the reason is that lots of other panels rely on the cursor position of the history panel to decide what data to present. An example is the system information panel which always shows the information on the highlighted cursor entry. If we pick a different entry, the system information panel will update. The main reason to turn is if you're examining the journal entry while Elite is running and producing new journal entries, because as soon as the journal entry comes in from Elite, it will jump back to the top of the journal history. The next button controls word wrap. Normally, with word wrap off, any text that is too long to fit within the information column is truncated. Hitting word wrap allows you to wrap that text onto multiple lines. You can see the difference with the screenshot entries. The next button is the outlining control. Outlining allows you to roll up rows to minimize the amount of rows displayed. Click on the button and select outlining on. To the left of the travel grid is the outline. You can click on the minus button to roll up that area of the outline. Click on a plus button to expand it. The normal outline is over one play session. You can configure the outline using the outlining button. You can configure to indicate that all scan events should be rolled up. You can also configure that older entries can be rolled up either after the first play session or after five play sessions. The next button introduced in 11.8 is the help button. You click on this to send you to the help for the particular panel that you're using. Another new feature introduced in 11.8 is column hiding. Here you can see that we've hidden some of the standard columns. If you right click on the header of the column, you can basically hide a column or unhide all columns. We'll hide here the event column and unhide it again. The next panel on the history tab is the system information panel to the right. This gives you the information about the system currently highlighted in the history list. You can scroll up and down to see all the different entries. You can also by right click and configure which entries are shown. By using control drag on an entry, you can reposition it. The cursor changes to a hand, move it to the approximate position and release. The system information panel allows you to jump immediately to the web pages associated with this system for EDSM, EDDB, Inara, Spanch. It also allows you to jump to Coriolis or Ed Shipyard for your current ship loadout. Further down the panel, you can enter notes on the current entry highlighted in the history grid. You can also set up a target system for EDD by typing into the target box. The next panel is the nearest stars panel. This shows, gathered from your local downloaded EDSM database, the list of stars within a defined distance. You can set the minimum and maximum distance and you can decide whether or not you wanted to use a cube or straight line distance. You can right click on one of these stars to allow you to see it on EDSM or view a system pop out of the known data. 
You can also add it to the trilateration, exploration or expedition pages. The final panel on the bottom right is the log panel. This shows messages from EDD about its operation. The final panel is the scan panel on the bottom left. This will show you a graphical representation of the known data of the system that you're in. As you scan the system, the panel will update and give you graphics on each of the system bodies. Let's expand the panel and show some features. The first button you may want to try is the Select Image Size button. This allows you to change the size of the planets or make them slightly bigger. If you click on a body, it will pop up a panel with detailed information on it. If you hover over a body, a tooltip will appear with detailed information. Click anywhere else on the panel to clear the detailed information. In this system, I've scanned four bodies, A1, A2, A3 and C2. Other bodies may exist in the system, but they've not been scanned, so will not be shown on this diagram. Bodies can have small icons against them. The volcano showed here indicates that it has volcanism. A small green planet means it's terraformable. If a planet is worth money, it will have a dollar sign against it. If a planet has signals, it will have a squiggly line against it. And if a planet's already been mapped, or been mapped by you, it will have an outline globe icon. Here's a system where body two has an Earth type symbol indicating it's terraformable, a dollar sign indicating it's worth a lot of money, and a globe symbol showing that I've mapped it. The other buttons from the left, the sun allows you to show an arbitrary system, not the system you're currently in. Type the name of the system in and click OK. The next button allows you to filter out different planet or star types. The next button allows you to control what's shown. You can, for instance, show materials. You can show rare materials. You can hide materials when they've reached their storage limit. And you control whether or not moons are shown, hab zones are shown, classes of stars, etc. The EDSM button is used to go and fetch body data from EDSM for this particular system. This will show you whether or not EDSM has data for the system, and if it does, it will fill in any information which is missing from your scan data. The next button allows you to configure how much money you want a dollar sign to indicate. The final button allows you to export a comma separated value file to Excel or another spreadsheet program with information about all the scans that you've performed. You can select what information you wish to send to that program. Remember that you can get help on each of these panels by clicking in 11.8 onwards on the question mark icon. This concludes a tour of the history tab. I hope you've enjoyed it and enjoy using Ed Discovery. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more EDD videos. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.